The International Space Station is about to receive thousands of pounds of critical research and supplies on board SpaceX's 27th Commercial Resupply Services mission from Kennedy Space Center. Included on this mission are dozens of payloads sponsored by the ISS National Laboratory, intending to utilize the space-based environment to bring scientific value to our nation and enable commerce in low Earth orbit. Here are some of the highlighted projects sponsored by the ISS National Lab on this mission. Researchers from Stanford University and Johns Hopkins University will each be launching investigations looking at developing drug responses for patients suffering from cardiac conditions. Each team will launch a series of tissue chip platforms containing human tissues to the space station. Tissue chips are small engineered systems designed to mimic the physiological function of a human organ in space, allowing researchers to directly observe how the absence of gravity can result in the accelerated onset and progression of conditions that mimic human disease on Earth. The tissue chips serve as a platform to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of therapeutic treatments for disease. These projects stem from a multi-year partnership with the National Institutes of Health to evaluate this novel technology in low Earth orbit. American technology company L3 Harris plans to put materials for developing small satellites to the ultimate test. Not only can researchers take advantage of the microgravity environment of the orbiting platform, but there are external platforms that expose payloads to the extreme environment of space. In doing so, Payloads are subject to severe temperature variances, higher doses of radiation, and atomic oxygen spikes, allowing researchers to see how a material or device can withstand the most hostile of environments. For L3 Harris, they hope this investigation provides insight for developing smaller, more cost-effective satellites. Pharmaceutical leader Bristol Myers Squibb continues their work on board the space station by studying the crystallization of biotherapeutic compounds in microgravity. In low Earth orbit, crystals have the ability to grow larger and more well-defined than in Earth-based environments. Crystallization is an important technique for studying protein structure to better understand the function of molecules that are important in health and disease. And Bristol Myers Squibb hopes to leverage this technique to identify potential therapeutics for patients on Earth. The ISIS National Lab is opening access and opportunity for researchers to take advantage of this unique outpost. This launch provides a fantastic representation on the range of experimentation. To learn more about all ISS National Lab sponsored payloads on SpaceX CRS-27, or to learn about open opportunities to become part of this growing research community, please visit issnationallab.org.